Oh, hello everybody out on the internet. Um, I reviewed this kit, which is the Wing Nut Wings Yonkers D1, some time ago, and I finally plucked up the courage to have a go at building it. So I thought I might record my efforts. Um, sorry if the lighting's a bit poor. I've got a bigger bench light, but it induces flicker because it's a fluorescent tube on a video. So at the moment I've just got a small LED one running. I uh, hope hopefully we'll lose the reflections once we get the sprues out of the bag so anyway let's open up the first bag and make a start right as you can see molding is absolutely fantastic um, I've never built a wing nut wings model before so this is my first time. I've never built a World War One aircraft, I don't think, in the past. So that's a first for me as well. So I'm going to start cutting some bits out for the first little bit, which includes this part here, which is part of the framing and the main fuel tank. And then we also need the bits for the magazines and empty belt chutes, which is this part. And we also need this part here. So. Um, Let's get those bits cut out and see if we can work out how they go together. Alright, I use some of these uh, Games Workshop sprue cutters. Oh, I find they're quite good. Some people complain about them, but I like them. I'm also going to have to change my glasses, I think. My modelling ones. Now everything's blurred, but I can see close up. So I'm cutting out and I am leaving a little bit on the ends where I can. So there's no deformation, just a couple of, well, between one and two millimetres. As you can see here, I think these are some of the little bits to let the air out of the mould. So these do cut extremely well, I find. A lot of people like the Tamiya ones. But these are the ones that I've got. I've Put on mumbling away on the video here. It's my first time I've ever really done something like this. Just check that those bits do have to come off, which they do. Just these off now. And just trim up the ends. They do really cut nice and flush these. It's quite a warm day here in England, surprisingly, but not as hot as yesterday when I was at work and the temperatures were up in the 30 degrees centigrade. Don't ask me what that is in Fahrenheit, hot. So got the window open and I live on a main road in my flat so you will hear the cars going by. I was going to have music, the radio on but then I thought that will soon get taken down on YouTube. So modelling in silence apart from my waffles. Very fine. Can see, I'm going to be breaking this a bit. Now we want a 17, which I thought was over here. So a 17. Yes, this piece here. With the larger bits I tend to cut right up. I've never really had much of an issue with these. There's a bit of a mould line running down there but Nothing, a few strokes of the file won't remove. 
is just one of Philip Flory's sanding sticks. I find them as good as any. I guess really go into Boots, which is a chemist here in the UK, and get nail files. But you get all different sizes with these grades, etc. It doesn't take long to just go around with one of these anyway. there's any mould lines on there, I can't actually see any. How about on these? If so, if this needs cleaning up, I will turn the video off while I do it. Okay, so they look pretty good. Let's orientate ourselves. That goes at the back. There's a bit of a bit of fiddling going on here. That just sits in there. Like so, apparently these wing up wing kits have legendary fit, and that indeed does fit very nicely indeed. So I'll just bring this into shot. I'll just turn my light off because it's a touch sensitive one. I made up this little stand. I saw somebody with them on the on the internet. So I've got my usual extra thin. I've got Tamiya cement in the middle. And I've got their quick setting one here, which unfortunately I left the lid off and it's all evaporated away. So don't be an idiot like me. Right, in with the extra thing I'm going to glue from underneath in here. So I hope I'm staying in shot because my camera's a little bit off centre. So turn your extra thin on both sides like that. And then this piece, which is a 17, goes with the V down and do, 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 where the hell does that fit? I think, therefore I am, it just fits underneath there, look. Just like so. Don't leave any flash because it doesn't fit. Still working on the fit. So not the greatest talker, so I apologise if there's long spells of silence. I'm sure that will fit when there's some glue on it, so I'll try some first. A component. first stage done and would you believe that on about sticking it into the fuselage bottom already I'm not sure about that so I'll put that piece to one side for the moment clear up these little bits 
I always start off with a nice clear modelling bench and by the end of the day I've got a pile of stuff all over the place. So the next bits look like they could be some fuselage framework. May get those sub-assembled. Also got the control cock, sorry I'm right off camera there, sorry. The control column there and the rudder pedals, etc. Which also fit on but I may put those together, leave them as a sub-assembly. On here you've got the presumably the right hand and the left hand sides. And that's got a grease pump. Well that's a grease pump, that's a fuel pump I think. Hand pump for pressurising fuel tanks. And a spark advance lever. So I think I'm going to get those done next. And then we'll see how we go on from there. Right. A15 and A14. There's A15. Something that looks like rudder pedals. Those. Sorry about being out of shot. Out here, and then a smaller filing stick just to clean that up. needed and what's not. I'm sorry I'm mumbling away, it doesn't seem right talking to yourself. See there. Just a little bit of gate left there. Just a little gentle tickle with the file. That's all that's needed. There we go, so that's that done. Oh, and I also need a part A16 as well, which joins them all together. Numbers upside down. 4, 5, 6, 9, 13. piece here
orientation of these right must be that this piece just here is another one of those bits to let the the plastics flow through so you don't get short shots presumably no, somebody who's deaf is outside with their radio in their car. So I apologise for that if you can hear some music in the background. So that's that piece cleaned up. Now that do, 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 fits over there with some very fine location pins I'm also using my webcam that I bought for this I have no idea what it's like going to come out like if it's rubbish then we'll go back to using a GoPro or something mm, this is going to create some swearing in my mind One side in. Two sides in. Not sure if that's supposed to sit at an angle or not. But I'm sure nobody will worry if it does. There you go. That's that done. Rudder balls. Make sure we get those the right way around. Do, 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 do. Like that, like that. Like. Let's finish cleaning them up, shall we? So, I'm doing this, and I think I have a grand total at the moment of about five subscribers, but. Great Oaks Little, no, what is it? Little Acorns, Great Oak Trees Grow, or something. I'm never, never going to be a fantastic modeler, but I still enjoy it. That's the main thing, I guess. Going quiet for a minute because I can hear neighbours outside my flat. I don't want them to think I'm a total idiot. Well, any more than old, they already probably think I am be calling the men in the white coats to come and take me away. Fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Hello, I can see the screen's gone dark on my computer, so I hope it's still recording. I think it is. That's straight for the first time. And then we've Finish that little component too. Uh, quick blow. Put that there. Right, next piece we want. Part A12. So it's one of these two over here. There we go. A12.
just trying to get a bit, just want a bit of flash out of there. I don't cut my finger. Expecting a mate, you'll see a cut and me sitting there now with a plaster on my finger. Let what they say, a blunt blade's more dangerous than a sharp one, and I think this one is losing its edge. Try and stay on screen if I can. I was supposed to come after going into the model shop the other day for a few paints for this. I came out with a Airfix's 124 scale Hellcat. So that's maybe the one after this. But I am going to try and actually finish this. I am a little bit one of these who, when I get near completion, I begin to lose interest in the kit and start thinking about the next project. And I think I'll just start some of that to give me a break. But I think I'm going to try and work through these. I also received in the post yesterday the um, Winsock Publications. They do a book on building this kit. It looks like I've sucked and read it this morning. And it looks like it's got some good useful tips in it. It has a nice um, thing you can photocopy in the book. which is for the f So which you can make camouflage masks for this one. I haven't quite made up my mind which version I'm going to do yet. So I'm sure it all will become clear at one point. It's funny, even back, pardon me, even back then, youngers were experimenting using corrugated metal for their fuselages. Obviously, their most famous one was the JU 52. I guess it really added strength to the airframe being a corrugated shape. Sad was it last year that they uh, there was a real Ju-52 crashed in the mountains in Europe? Was it Switzerland? Everybody on board killed. Never heard any more about what the cause was. Very sad. No, this, on this piece, I didn't look on the back of the other one, it looks like, there this time, it does look like you've got to remove these bits of the injection moulding, what they call the ejector pins, so I'll just cut those out. Oh, I'm cutting them out without checking that they're not actually used, but it's a classic mark of removed where they're pushed out of the moulds. Get that bit of that now. Come back to the other one. Also, I heard that they're so they're well designed these kits that um, you don't actually have to worry about filling in the ejector pin marks. Obviously, I'll check that as I go. Why did I choose the jet D1? No rigging, apart from a little bit on the undercarriage. So we'll see how we get on with this, and then maybe we'll buy another one with a bit of rigging. Got to admit that I certainly wouldn't mind. Oh, it's cracked, so let's put a little bit of glue on that. Certainly wouldn't mind their Lancaster, but when it comes out, but is it? really worth it. I don't think I'd have anywhere to keep it when it's built. But I still think one might be in the collection one just to say that I've got one. I've even heard that it's going to be cheaper than the um Hobby not Hobby King. Hong Kong models one. Which has a few mistakes in it from what I can understand. Oh either tail plane halves. You can only play the Done. You can join two bottoms together and two tops, and not one of each. How did that pass through the test build? I wonder. Obviously, they're rushing to get it out. So I'll wait 
I'd also love to build one of one nut wings is um, Felix does flying boats but I think I'll progress along with one of these first before I get one of those I can, there'll be a few people muttering that I don't fill these in. Oh, he hasn't filled in his ejector pin marks, even though you can't see them. Well, I build for my pleasure and not anybody else. If any of you have subscribed to Cohen Scale Modeling, I always smile at the little bit that comes up with the uh, the hand with the finger. And I didn't build it for your approval. I built it because it meets mine, and that is quite true. I never ever criticise anybody's work that I watch because half the time I can't do any better anyway and why should I? They've built to their satisfaction and that is all that counts I think. Build for your own enjoyment. When somebody says you've got 28 rivets you should have 30 down that bit well that's very very sad right so that's the side frames cut out what else do we need to go on there with a spark advance lever do, do, do. a grease pump and a hand air pump for pressurising now do I put those on or do I leave them off and paint them separately I think I'll leave them off for a minute because I can't even find them. That's the hand pump, part A1. That's the spark advance. And boom, boom, a seven, six, seven. That's the grease one. Ooh, that's a very tricky one to know whether to put them on. Have a think about that for a moment. I haven't decided. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Not that I'm bored already, but they're going to be shortish videos. So I'm going to probably go away and prime these up and see what I can do with these small pieces. And then I'll get back to you in the next video. Anyway, for those of you who do find this and watch, thank you for watching. You can subscribe, but I'm not a very prolific one for bringing out videos. But if you do, don't forget, hit the bell notification. And then this time next year when I bring the second one out, you know it will be there. Anyway, guys, happy modelling and whatever you're doing at the moment. Bye.